Hi friends, today let us discuss the synthesis of nanomaterials. The nanomaterials can be synthesized in two ways, namely bottom-up approach and top-down approach. Bottom-up approach, what is the principle involved in this bottom-up approach? In this method, the nanomaterials are synthesized by assembling the atoms and molecules together. Example, Sol gel method, solution precipitation method, gas condensation method, chemical vapor deposition method comes under bottom-up approach method. When you take top-down approach method, in this method, the nanomaterials are synthesized by dissembling the solids into finer pieces until the particles are in the order of nanomaterials or nanometers. Examples, attrition or milling is a typical top-down method in making nanoparticles. So you can observe here to get nanoparticles, microstructure nanoparticles from top down approach and from bottom up approach. From bottom up approach, atoms and molecules together you get uh, clusters, from clusters you get microstructure nanoparticles. And uh, from uh, top down approach, bulk materials are grinded into powders. Finally, we get uh, microstructure nanomaterials. So when you take uh, <coughs> sole gel method, which comes under bottom-up approach method, how to synthesize the nanomaterials by sole gel method? This is a colloidal process. Colloidal dispersions have two phases. A dispersed phase with particles of micro size and a dispersion medium. Soles and gels are types of colloids a sole is a solid particle dispersed in a medium and a gel is a continuous network of particles with pores filled with the liquid. Sole gel process involves the following four steps. Step number one is hydrolysis of precursors. Step number two is condensation followed by polycondensation. Then step number three is allowing dilation to occur that is called hazing and uh, fourth one is drying process to obtain solid material. Then the starting material which is used for the synthesis of nano material is called as precursor material. Precursor material. So in soil gel process precursors have to be chosen such that they have a tendency to form gels. Then only it is possible to get nanoparticles by soil gel method. Some of the precursor materials which are used commonly by this method is oxide particles. Oxide particles like uh, alkoxides. So general formula for alkoxide is M R O H second N times where M is aluminum, silicon, then R O H is alcohol and metal salts such as cadmium chloride, ferric chloride, aluminum chloride etc are synthesized by this method. So one of the examples by this method how to synthesize the nanoparticles are alkoxides. So oxide ceramics are best synthesized by following route. So step number one is hydrolysis of precursor. Hydrolysis is nothing but addition of water. Addition of water. This is MOR is alkoxide and adding water that is hydrolysis and it forms MOH plus ROH, that is hydrolysis of alkoxides. Next uh, step is, next step is condensation followed by polycondensation. First is water condensation, means water is removed. So MOH plus MOH, and MOM, it forms MOM and H2 water is removed, that is water condensation. Then again alcohol condensation. Alcohol condensation means alcohol is removed where M is equal to silicon, titanium, aluminum, maybe zirconium, etc. So then, uh, first step, actually allowing gelation to occur and uh, drying process to obtain nanoparticles, both of them com comes under step number three. So involves washing and drying followed by calcination of the gel results the formation of nanoparticles. We can observe here the diagram of uh, soil gel method so you can take precursor. Precursor is nothing but the starting material which is used to synthesize the nanomaterial is called as 
precursor material. Precursor material is dissolved in a solvent and taken in a container that is as soul. That is as soul in a container. On dehydration of this soul, you get a gel. On rapid drying of this gel, you get either aerogel or zero gel. On calcination of this zero gel, then you will get dense ceramic powders. When you want to get instead of dense ceramic powders, then you can follow this path. Precursor taken in a container along with solvent, then it forms a zero gel on calcination of zero gel, then uh, finally you will get powders. Or when you want to get thin film of nano materials or thin film coatings of nano materials, you can follow this path precursor taken in a container along with the solvent, then it forms zero gel. On uh, calcination of zero gel, you will get finally finally thin film coatings. So this is the consolidated diagram of uh, okay, soul gel method for the formation of uh, nanoparticles. So thank you. Next, uh, in the next session, uh, let us take uh, uh, the condensation, chemical vapor condensation method, which is also, which is also used for the synthesis of uh, nanomaterials. Thank you.